What up, Team Off Gallus? It's time for another resort review. This is the video series where we're gonna go to a brand new ski resort. We absolutely rip it, we have a good day there, and we come back here and we give it a score from zero to 100, and that way you guys know how sick is this ski resort. Are you gonna go to it? Should you go to it? Who is this resort for? And that's the purpose of this video. And the way we're gonna get our score from zero to 100 is we're gonna go through 10 categories, each category getting a score from zero, which means it's not applicable, one is terrible, five is average, and 10 is best in the world. So we'll get those 10 scores, we'll add it together, and we'll get the score from zero to 100. But the most important thing is who is this resort for? Because a resort can get a pretty bad ranking, but it's meant for one type of person to ride it, or it could be meant for everybody. So let's find out who Mount Peter Ski Area in New York is for. Now, before we get started, this is an 80 year old ski resort. It's super old with 400 foot vertical drop and 69 ski acres so it's kind of a small ski resort and now that you know that hit the subscribe button and let's jump into lift prices how expensive is it to ride at Mount Peter ski area and it is $55 for the midweek and 75 for the weekend which 75 for this type of ski resort I felt like is kind of a lot 55 would feel more of the fair price I feel like in general but I get it weekends get busy it might be to just do crowd control stuff like that but with that being said I thought like it just didn't feel right to me 75 so I gave him a six when it comes to lift prices it's still really good you know, it's not $300, $200 for the day, but it's still $75. I was like, oof, okay. Now lodging, they don't have any. Zero ski in, ski out. But I gave them a one on the lodging because, and I love when resorts do this, they don't have lodging, but on their website, they actually have a section for lodging and then it gives you the closest places near you to stay. And it's nice that they do that. So I gave them a one for the effort. You know what I'm saying? It's on their website. So they get a one for lodging, even though they don't actually have any ski in, ski out lodging. Now, ease of access, how easy is it to get to Mount Peter? There is a two hour drive if you fly into Albany or a one hour drive if you fly into Newark. That's if you're flying in to go ride, but it's in the middle of New York, or not in the middle, it's like towards the bottom part, but it's it's in a lot of areas. It's gonna be super easy to get to it. It's not mountainous, it's not a lot of switchbacks, anything like that. So when it came to ease of access, I did give them a six, so huh, there you go. Now I know at this point in the video, you're wondering, why did you go ride Mount Peter Ski Area in New York? And it's because we have the goal to ride every resort in the United States. And the way you guys can track our progress is by going to resortskimaps.com. It's a map of every resort in the United States. But if you go to all the green ones, those are the places that we have been. You can click on them and watch the videos there. And if you click on the red one, it, nothing's gonna pop up because we haven't been there yet. So you can check the top right hand corner, see our schedule for the upcoming season, where we're gonna ride. So you can meet us on the mountain, which is like our favorite part of every day is meeting up with a bunch of you guys and ripping around. So go check out resortskinaps.com. I use it to plan all of my trips to see what resorts are near me. You can sort it by Epic Pass or Icon Pass. It's literally the coolest thing ever. So resortskinaps.com. That's linked in the description. Now chairlifts. We got to get up the mountain. We want to rip. And that, I mean, obviously this is what we're here for. And they have three lifts and one carpet. They are two seaters, kind of older chairlifts. Nothing special about them. They don't have any gondolas. They don't have any chalets, trams. You know, it's just, it's a tiny resort. They got little tiny chairlifts. So for lifts, I gave them a three. You're going to get where you need to want to go, but yeah. It's old chairlifts. Oh, side note, they really enforce bar down at that resort. Like on the West Coast, no one ever tells you to put the bar down. There, they have this guy in a microphone and if you like go to like a certain pole, you don't put the bar down, they like radio and there's like speaker that's like, put the bar down. It was crazy. Uh, first time that I've ever experienced that. So you gotta put the bar down there. Please lower your safety bar. Now runs, we want to snowboard. We want to get down. What type of terrain are we gonna be riding? And it's mainly just kind of like mellow groomers. They do have a right side, which is actually a little steep and it was a little firm there that they were there so it's kind of scary you know a little icy steep terrain it was like Ugh, the 400 foot vertical drop so when it came to runs i gave him a three you know no bulls no tree riding it's just like ribbons of snow but it was still really sick and we actually got to do some grass snowboarding while we were there and while we're on runs they do have night riding so everything that's open during the day is also open during the night if you enjoy night riding or if you're working a job and you still want to get some turns in Now park, this is one of those things where if you look at the map really close, like even closer, and like look really close, you'll see a terrain park logo. And while we were there, the kids were like, you guys want to run through the park? And we went through and it was like one bump that they call a park. So we can't give it a zero. Uh, it's a, it's literally the one, it's absolutely terrible. Now online, there was a photo of a sick looking park in the same area. So I don't know if they just didn't build a park last year, but when we were there, we got a terrible park. And on the map, it's like the most tiniest little thing shown. So uh, we gave them a one for train park. 
Now, if you're enjoying this video and you like this mission of riding every resort in the United States, consider helping us do that by snagging some Evolution merch. We have the snowboarder one as well as the ski Evolution sticker if you're a skier out there. We, you know, we got hats, <laughs> shirts, hats, windbreakers. We have so much merch, guys. It's all linked down below. If you do snag it, it's how we're gonna do all this traveling and all this stuff, guys. So thank you so much for supporting this dream and snagging the merch. But wait, if you do snag the merch, just tag me on my Instagram. I'll give you guys gear and sticker shoutouts in the vlogs. Now, views and scenery. How pretty is this resort when we're riding those runs and, and going up those chairlifts and everything? And it's on the East Coast. There is some vert, there's some hills in the distance, but it's it's really like, bleh, nothing, nothing incredible. So when it came to views and scenery, I gave them a three something but it's I mean you know now food we're gonna get hungry while we're ripping on the day or spending the whole day there maybe we just got off work we want to eat and then do some runs you know like we got to eat and the cool thing with the uh, Mount Peter is they had food trucks everywhere they had their lodge but they also had all these food trucks placed around and like a bunch of variety and I thought that was a really cool add to the, the overall vibe of the resort was these cool food trucks that were chilling around so when it came to food I gave them a seven which is a pretty high score for food so Mount Peter you're killing it now employees we go over employees and not snow conditions because one, we go to the East Coast, you know, the West Coast is obviously gonna have better snow as well as time of season when we show up, if we show up early, it's gonna be worse snow. And then like the East Coast got no snow last year. Like literally, I don't think they got like any snow except for this crazy windstorm that showed up the day that we were there. It like blew in, blew out, it was nuts. Anyways, we don't cover snow conditions, but we do cover employees because we have had an employee absolutely ruin our day on the mountain. You can check that video out there, the Keystone incident. But you could also have an employee absolutely make your day, go out of their way, you know, give you a 10, just because like they're they're doing so awesome. They like help your family out, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? So when it came to Mount Peter, they get a four when it comes to employees because there was a lifty ticket scanner guy that like was so lazy and like didn't care and like kind of made the vibe just feel like bleh. I don't know, like I would say overall, all the interactions we had, no one was like trying to make our day better. They were like, literally like, I have to be here. So I don't know, I just, that's the vibe I got. I have to be here. I'm gonna be, yeah, you know, bleh. so I gave him a four. Now the last category, the would I go back factor, because if I wouldn't go back, why would I tell you guys to go? And uh, I gave him a two on the would I go back because uh, truly I mean I don't have any pull to go back they don't have a train park which you know I love riding the train park and it's this it's just a east coast small resort type thing so nah I don't feel like I'm gonna go back to on the would I go back if I if I had the option I mean if it's like thing we gotta do I'm gonna do it but yeah so we got all the numbers now we're gonna add them all up and give you the score but if you are enjoying this video check out the other resort reviews that we have done you can check out the playlist right here we have done over 30 resort reviews and we plan to do all of them in the United States so check out the playlist see if I've reviewed your resort and then if you ride Mount Peter how did I do on all those rankings let me know you know give everyone the information in the comments is this the right resort to be riding or where should you stay which is the best food truck what's your favorite run what happened to the terrain park you know give us that information in the comments down below and then we can uh, then people can learn because the whole point of this video is to see if someone should come to the ski resort or not so the score from 0 to 100 Mount Peter got a hit like 36 which is tied for the lowest that we have gotten uh, for resorts but that doesn't mean this is a bad ski resort it means that this resort is for remember I was gonna tell you this resort is really for beginners if you're a beginner family you know you got young kids that like, can kind of ride you know you and you want them to just go do runs or maybe you set the bar and have a beer or something like that this is a great resort for you because the kids aren't gonna get lost you know if you want if you're beginning and learning and things like that this is a great ski resort for that sadly not to learn the train park because they didn't have one but a beginner family families, I think this resort is perfect for you. So if you wanted to take a trip here instead of Breckenridge where you can stay in the lines like crazy, you'll get more turns in. You might be able to actually get better at snowboarding or skiing if you went to a ski resort like this. And with all that being said, Team Elk House, thank you so much for running with us today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow with another video because it is daily on this snowboard channel.